Hello everyone, this is Adrian from CH again today with the same OS Series 7 that it's been uh, the same setup, same prop. The only difference is here on the back, I made this part. Let's see if we can see it back there. Okay, it's a uh, carb adapter that uh, replaces the original one that it's with a glow carb and uh, using a home and garden style carburetor that you see it's nicely hidden behind there so it fits in the same footprint with the motor mount ignition is the same like you seen it a couple of hours ago and uh, this one I'm running it now on 6 volts because on the gasoline we can do that it's uh, High octane gasoline, 20 to 1 mixture. I'm using the Morgan Cool Power. Let me see. Okay. This is the oil that I'm using on all the engines that I'm doing. So that's that. Also, you can use the Evolution uh, oil from Horizon Hobby. That's a good oil as well. The other thing that this, uh, <laughs> and my little boy there, <laughs> um, <clears throat> the other thing that this one needs, it's actually a electric pump, okay? The radial engines, because of the configuration, even though this one has the, this one has the enclosed uh, plenum there, it has a rotating fin which cancels pretty much the, uh, pulses that it will help the carburetor to pul uh, pulse and pump the gas so because of that I'm using a uh, RCXL smoke and gasoline pump this one you can find the instructions and the manual for it on uh, my website uh, the beauty about it it works and uh, right here it has on the back right there you can put a screwdriver and adjust the flow okay it connects directly to the receiver and it draws only like 100 milliamps which is nice this one it's a servo simulator which I'm using so once you have it on the uh, <clears throat> on the radio you just use a channel with a switch on your uh, radio and you plug it there and that will be pretty much it you just have to adjust the flow with the engine running at uh, full speed at top rpm so you will you will get the right amount of fuel so let me pause it so i can put the power to the servo simulator all right maybe you can hear there the pump it's running one of the things i run it a little bit earlier it idles pretty good fairly good transition top end it's pretty much like the glow actually a tad better what I seen it before um, what else I can say not much I might need to adjust it a little bit but I'm not gonna quite bother with it too much because it's fairly late and might not have time to play with that but yes it runs pretty good let me see It stayed for a while. Let me get some gas into it. All right. So hopefully it got it. What happened with the pump? Oh, okay. Right now it's pumping good. I might have it too low. Oh, yeah, of course, CDI it's off. No wonder. <laughs> well, what can I say? Or should I say it happens to all the best of us? <laughs> Damn, I cannot stop it. So, you see, 
well believe me it's a long day anyway so the pump is on ignition it's on so ouch Try to bring the idle just a tad lower. I didn't make the throttle linkage. I have it, but I didn't install it. I forgot about it. Now the other thing is always for the transition and top end to adjust the fuel pump. This one works on also the ASP from Vogelsang, the made in Germany pump that also worked really well. That is a really good pump but 250 bucks. It's quite pricey. a little bit adjustment I'm not sure which way now a little bit more or less adjust at the same time let me pause it for a second okay I was able to adjust the carburetor so we idling around a thousand plus 1100 somewhere between a thousand and twelve hundred As you can see, it goes pretty much like on the glow, 58 and steady. The throttle response is good. And then again, we're running with gasoline and I don't want to keep it on the stand too much and too long revved up because he doesn't quite cool let's let it cool down a little bit and give it another burst but as you can see it comes back to the idle fairly quick All right, a couple of more times and I'm not gonna do it more. Just let it do idle a little bit and try a sudden one. Ouch, I burn myself.
Okay, let's taxi. Get to the runway. Okay, let's pretend like we are in position and ready to take off. Coming for landing! Whoops! It gets hot back there. Yeah, definitely an APC Pompey will be needed. out of fuel. <laughs> Damn you know what. Okay, it's gonna shut off. That's why poor thing was acting up. Well, like I said earlier, it happens to best of us. Alright, let me shut it down. So, this is the OS 7 cylinder FR 420 running on gasoline and actually it runs pretty good um, one of the things that what my personal opinion is one of the asp electric pumps even though it's 250 i'll strongly recommend it uh, that you will give you know clear peace of mind i know that that pumps works solid and it's been been used on all the big engines, Mocky engines, and I'm recommending that for Evos. So as you can see, this engine, pretty much with the same prop, it gets the same power running on gasoline that it was doing before on Glow. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, next time I think I will have a 9-cylinder and the 735. I have them all set up, but no time to play with them. Alright, thank you for watching and come back for more.